Hey guys, welcome back. So last episode I mentioned that I might start off by eating some burgers to get to level 10, and that's definitely still an option. However, I had a quick look at my bounties, and I think I might just take this one and then run a vault to try and complete it. I mean, two Laramos should be doable, and I'm always up for vault gear. So... Yeah. Plus, given I died last time while trying to get out, I could probably do with all the vault practice I can get. So, I think it's time we make another crystal. Ooh, and actually, before we see this recipe, I might get this golden apple. In case you didn't know, golden apples are a bit more expensive in this mod pack, and it would be really nice to be able to cure some villagers to get cheaper trades. Mm, yes. Brilliant. Ooh, a skill up. That's so many. Ooh, and the seal of the hunter. Ooh, that's... That's tempting. I'm pretty sure those are quite expensive. Yeah, so a seal of the hunter costs a hunter's eye and all this, but the main thing is it costs a black... <laughs> it costs a blank seal, which costs a black chromatic steel ingot, which are very expensive. And I will want to do lots of scavenger runs, because they are a lot of fun. I mean, the skill orb would be huge, but I'm not going to get to 1,800 shards. I mean, I've got 253. I'm going to get it. Anyway, let's see what this crystal has in store for us. Ooh, it was lucky. And we definitely have everything we need for that. Seeds, cobblestone, copper, and string. That's probably one of the easiest crystals I've had so far. Perfect. Three monoliths. Eh, that's probably not happening. Oh. Ooh. Um, hmm. An X mark room. That's... This is very dangerous. But I think I've got to try it. Okay, yeah, that's dangerous. Alright. Let's get out of here. Oh, I didn't pick up my water. Okay. Ooh. That's going to be interesting to come back through later. Ooh, ooh. Okay. Nice. Very interesting, very interesting. Oh, no. Yeah, really wish I'd picked up my water. Got to. Ooh, there's a monolith. Ooh, there's another monolith. Ooh. This is suddenly looking. Completable? Maybe? That would be kind of insane. I'd love to complete this. Oh god. I have been incredibly lucky to not actually die to the creeper. One of these days, I'm not going to get that lucky, and it will just kill me. Because they've got very close multiple times. And now I'm paranoid because I keep seeing cactus and thinking it's a creeper. Ah, uh, this is my home room. I just managed to both pick up my water and put it back down again. Truly a mark of a skilled player. Well, we did not complete the bounty, however we did level up, which is good. In terms of loot, pretty good. I mean, not the best, but we got some boots, which is great, although I got boots last time, but these boots were only three armor, but they do have three health. so. 
We'll see. Null adjacence is always great. 18 is good. Vault diamonds, plating, bronze. Quite a lot of carbon, actually. Yeah. Pretty good. Time to roll these boots. Oh, okay. So, four armor, which is better than we had. We had three. And... Lower durability. In fact, that durability is one better than the absolute worst it can be. But it has also got max crit hit resistance. I might have a bit of a play with these. Not interested in Soulbound. It got Soulbound again. Hmm, two health and item rarity. I might regret re-rolling this, but I'm really tempted to re-roll this. Eh. Hmm. Health and knockback resist. I'm gonna take that. Now, I did hit level 10 after that vault, so I do have an unspent skill point to use. I could get a vein miner again, I could get it back, but I just, I know how useful it is. I just haven't ever got into the habit of using it. And I had a comment the other day that suggested Ghost Walk, and I've been looking at it, and since they did the patch where they changed all of the skills, Ghost Walk actually looks really interesting. So basically it makes you invincible for a duration of time and you can't attack anything but nothing can attack you. And it's got a very long cooldown, admittedly, but it only costs five mana and lasts for four seconds, which means in those situations where I end up in a crowd of mobs and I'm clearly panicking, in theory I could use Ghost Walk and just walk straight out of that situation. You can also use it to sneak up on spawners and get rid of them before they spawn. And mm, I'm very tempted. I'm also very tempted to take another level in dash because I can't seem to get anywhere that I want to with it at the moment. Um, I think I'm just not used to the new distance. I'm pretty sure they lowered it with the patch as well. Honestly, let's be honest, I'm dreadful at water buckets. Stonefall would probably actually be quite useful. <laughs> at this point which is a bit sad to say but i think i'm gonna try out ghost walk yeah we'll try ghost walk i think it could be really useful right well we um we didn't mind that larimar that we needed to and we are level 10 now which means we could get a scav but we'll see this one through i could abandon it i don't want to it's such an easy it should be so easy to do so I think it's time we make another crystal and get another vault going. What do we have? Alright. Second chance to try and get two Larimar. Hopefully I can actually do it this time. Ooh, it's ornate and it's also killer boss, which I'm not going to do that. That's that. That's six obelisks. That's not happening. But I'll take the ornate modifier for sure. Any ores? I will take any ores. Well, preferably Larimar. Ooh. Oh, I'm loving this ornate modifier. Ooh. Ooh. I like that. I like the chest scroll. I would do that. Mm, I will. Mm, I will do this. Just. I really want those balls. But at the same time, I think I'll just not. I didn't block it behind me. Yeah, that was... That was something. That scared the life out of me. Okay. Well. Remember to block it behind you when you go into a dungeon. 
is is very important. Ah, <laughs> oh, Jesus. It's fine. It's fine. Honestly, we just we just run that straight back. Let's go make another crystal. Yep, we can do that. Okay, let's run that back. Come on. Okay, a living vault this time. Sure, why not? And three obelisks. I, mm, yeah, really not sure about the killer boss. I feel like if I happen to run across them, I might try it out. Otherwise, no. It's just very... <laughs> That was very risky. Although I have just died in like all of the vaults that I've done, so I guess it's not that risky. Because I die anyway, so. Well, that was a lot of good stuff. Ooh, blank runes. You can get blank runes now. I guess that must be a level 10. Don't get those before. That's cool. This time, this time we'll get the ores, surely. Surely this can't be the third vault in a row where I don't get the two Laramar that I need. Two of you? Oh god, I'm triggering too many spawners. Hard. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I can see at least one Laramar. Come on, please have two. If nothing else, I want to be able to finish this bounty. Yes! Oh, thank god. Ooh, three, four. I just remembered I had Ghost Walk. <laughs> I took Ghost Walk. I panicked in that last fall and completely forgot that I took Ghost Walk. Okay, in those situations, Ghost Walk is the answer. Just need to actually remember that. Oh man. But anyone who was watching this was just yelling at me saying, use, use Ghost Walk. You literally just took it for these situations and then I just didn't. That was a lot of good stuff. Yeah, like that. And we may as well click this since we're here. Now, funnily enough, I'm not going to bother with that dungeon. Just have a feeling it's not going to be worth it. Maybe ask me another day. I haven't just been demolished in one. Well, at least we didn't die this time. And we completed the bounty, so that's huge. Alright. And actually, 84 chests isn't bad for me. That's pretty decent, so I'll take that. And no, no traps. I don't quite know how we got no traps, but that's pretty, that's, that's cool. I like that. And we got some pretty good stuff. I mean, four mystery boxes is great. Obviously, we completed our bounty with Delarimar. 14 Knowledge Essence is actually great. And that's... That's a lot of carbon. So, yeah. Overall, loot went pretty well. And, of course, we can't forget our bounty. Some bronze. And, of course, the Vault Axe. Maybe we'll get something cool. Oh, that was so close to a landing on epic. Okay, ten attack damage. A lot of durability. So mine is twelve attack damage, plus five attack damage, and poison cloud. And this is ten attack damage. I feel like with the axe being slower, it needs to have a higher attack damage. I mean, this this base rolled ten, whereas this was max at twelve. It's 
not really going to be able to compete. It's too slow and has too low attack damage, which is a shame. But actually, I wonder if I can afford the Bolt Recycler. I think I should be able to do this. Give me a second. Now this is really useful because when you get gear that is just not really any use to you, for example this axe which I explained is too low and too slow, if you put it in the Vault Recycler it gives you stuff, it gives you Vault Scrap and it can also give you some of the focuses that you can use to modify gear. But for Vault Scrap, I'll take that. Now I think what I'm going to quickly do before we finish the episode is make a few more of the Vault Stations that I'm going to need, namely the Vault Forge, the Magnet Modification Table, and the Tool Vice. These are all one-time crafts and really begin to unlock some parts of the mod pack that we just haven't been able to touch so far. The Vault Forge is where you can craft vault gear instead of having to like find it inside of the vault. The Magnet Modification Table it pretty much speaks for itself, but it will allow us to look into magnets as a strategy. And the tool vice would open up vault pickaxes as an option for us to explore. Hmm. I think I'll move these animals somewhere else and put them down here. Perfect. Now, I've put materials in these where I can. I could actually craft some vault gear right now, which is kind of huge. But as for the other two tables, I need red vault essence. And to get that, I need painite which I only have two of, so I think I need to break down my 12 ores and cross my fingers. 25! Yeah, I'm calling that win, that's good. That's very good. Now, how do I actually make the red bolt essence? With bolt essence, that makes sense. I probably should have guessed that one, not gonna lie. Now, having looked at the costs, I think modifying a pickaxe is still slightly out of reach mostly because mining speed and reach which are like the two main things cost quite a lot of chromatic steel and i really don't have much of it at the moment so if i was to break a pickaxe then i'd have a hard time coming back from it right now however i think i'm in a slightly and i do mean slightly better state with the magnet modifications so i think i might give one a try and hope for the best. Now, the third thing with magnets, and also actually with tools, is there's always this little star on the bar, and if you hit that, then your magnet or your tool gets something special. So for tools, it means that you unlock a socket, which means you can make it so that your pickaxe can be used like an axe or like a shovel, or it mines faster and things like that. Now with magnets, it's a bit more random. You get one of a certain set of modifiers, so it might be that you get extra damage or extra item quantity, or if you're very lucky, one that's immortal in the overworld and can't break unless you bring it into a vault. So it's always that you kind of want to hit this, but at the same time, it's obviously quite far down because every time you do an upgrade, there's a chance that your magnet breaks. And by the time you get here, it's like 50-50 each time you make a modification whether or not your magnet will break. So that's a kind of scary prospect. So I'm probably not going to go for that with this. And this is mildly terrifying because it might just break and then I don't think I can really make another one right now. But I think I want velocity and then maybe a range. I might do one durability. I know that this is a wimpy move to stop right now because it's keep going, add more things, make it interesting, but I don't have that many resources and I also don't know what I need. It might be that this magnet is good enough for where I'm at in the game. It might be that I go, actually, I just didn't have enough range or enough velocity. So I'm going to stop there for now and when I'm in a better state with having more stuff and I have a better idea of what I need I'll come back and modify another magnet because I'm just very glad that that didn't break and yeah at some point I do really want to try out the tool vice but I need to be in a better state with my chromatic steel I just I've got 13 I think I could maybe make about 
15 more, but even then, if it takes 6 every time you do an upgrade, I'm just... I'm just relatively likely to not be able to do that many upgrades, and then if it breaks, I'm just... I've not got many options, so... I'm gonna leave this for now, and make sure I've got some chromatics teal in case I need it to make other things. But with all that said, I think I'm gonna leave this episode here. Next time I can hopefully finally take on that scavenger bounty and maybe complete my first vault. We'll also be able to test out the magnet and, oh hello llama, and maybe I'll manage to not die for an episode, but wouldn't that be a novelty at this point? But anyway guys, thank you for watching, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye!